Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending February 5th, 2022. The hat is on vacation this week. Ooh. Let us begin with... You knew it had to happen. Like it or not, it's difficult to find any industry that's not getting into NFTs these days, and anime is no exception. But these are interesting. Um, anime Studio Fanworks <laughs> and online store Tokyo Otaku Mode, you may have heard of, announced this week mm-hmm. they've teamed up with, with a startup incubator named Tsukriya and a content company called The Battle to create an anime of an existing NFT project called Crypto Ninja. Um, it launched with a promotional anime video by Fanworks, uh, with companies do want to produce a full size anime as well. The Crypto Ninja project was actually produced last year, uh, and it's Japan's most active NFT project with 150 Ether involved. That's about $430,000. Um, earned from a community of less than 10,000 fans and creators. Um, and this is basically a project to create <laughs> good NFTs, like good looking NFTs. So the idea is, it's, it's kind of like, um, uh, uh, I'm forgetting the name of it, but, um, uh, the uh, Board 8 project. Um, it's kind of like that, but instead of like just auto generating the, the, these images, it's actually like fan art. So they reach out to people saying, you draw cool fan art, we will make an NFT of that, and you make money off of that NFT. Mm. So I'm like, okay, so you're getting money to creators, and the NFT itself, like, looks good. Like, I, I can kind of understand at least the connections there. Um, Toy Animation also announced this week it's producing an anime based on an NFT project. This one stems from an NFT collection of artworks from a nine-year-old boy called Zombie Zookeeper. Um, the boy created the art collection Zombie Zoo as a summer vacation research project. It's basically pixel art he does on like an iPad. Um, and he now sells the pixel art as NFTs with the help of his mother, who is also an artist. Toy stated that the, the boy and his artwork became the face of the NFT art scene in Japan and explained that they, quote, started this project because they want to support and create animators that reflect children's creativity as it is, end quote. And these are very, you know, nine-year-old boy pixel art drawings <laughs> to be clear um the company plans this to be just the first project and a plan to partner with more creators and develop animation franchises based off of nft artwork so this is what what makes this kind of interesting to me is it's not simply saying um we're going to like make an anime make nfts out of it it's we're going to look at the nft um world that exists and kind of make anime out of that do think huh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. It seems to be a little bit of a complicated process, but okay. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, mm. uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's okay. wait and see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like I literally almost feel like, like just like slathering paint on my hand and slapping it on a piece of paper and taking a picture of it go and for go, it. To Ethereum, please. Yeah, absolutely. Do it. I think you should. You know, and, and, well, I've been trying to get on it, but it's one of those things where it's, you can't just, like, you know, do the thing. Mm. You know, there's money involved. You have to, oh, you know, you, you, have to, you have to pay to get it onto the site. You have to be able – you have to buy into a portion of the currency gotcha. in order in order to, to do this. Mm. And, of course, it's one of those things where it's just like, okay, you can do 40% of one Ethereum. Well, What's how much is one of the theory? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, so you put it up there and you hope that somebody, you know, buys it, which is fine because, you, you know, if they do, then, they, you know, everybody makes money. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I have the original artwork and then yeah. this person has the original data blockchain art. Sure. Yep. Yeah. As long as the URL stands up and the, it's theirs and yep. they can do whatever the hell they want to do with it. Mm-hmm. And then somebody's going to make an anime of my life. There we are. Absolutely. And, uh-huh. that's, and that's, that's how we do this. Okay. This is how uh, I see this. You know, if somebody wants to pay me $20,000 for a URL, sure. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll give it all that. I mean, right. why not? <laughs> you know, seriously, why not? But okay. I mean, you're right. You know what this reminds me of? Mm. This reminds me of the scene in, um, uh, the big short, which is about the 2008 um, uh, collapse of the of the, oh. the, the uh, mortgage uh, bubble, uh, yeah. real estate bubble. Yeah. And one of the things is that um, one of the characters comes in, plays one of the uh, one of the people architects of the, the bubble crashing, where he goes, he's just like he goes, yeah, um, I want to I want to buy these mortgages, 
because I think the housing market is going to fail and then you're going to pay me the money when it fails. Mm -hmm. And the banks are just laughing at him and Wall Street's laughing at him. And, he, and one of the people goes, so this is Wall Street. This is free money. We'll take your money if you want to mm -hmm. give it to us. Mm -hmm. And I saw so that's how I feel about yeah. this. I'm like, mm -hmm. you want to pay? OK, yep. OK, it's your money, I guess. But <laughs> John Ryder in chat just has the perfect description of it. They're tulip bulbs. And yes. Or tulip bulbs. Yes. Yes. Right. Wait till that puppy blows. <laughs> Jesus. You know, people legitimately are willing to spot spend. Spot on. That is spot on. Absurd amount of cash exactly for this. Exactly right. There is a market for it, but it's yeah, just good, good analogy. Yes. That's great that's, analogy. That's, that's, Jesus. Exactly right. <laughs> so 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 odd. I'm just gonna stick with asking random strangers for pocket change. <laughs> <laughs> this works well, no. so much better for me. <laughs> this is the thing. I was actually reading up on somebody made an interesting point this week. Um, um, and they're talking basically about you know investment and finance and so forth. And they said it is totally reasonable to look at cryptocurrency and NFTs and saying and say this is um, completely chaotic. This is non-predictable. You know, I am not going to put my retirement in this. On the other hand, um, saying because this is unpredictable and chaotic, I am going to completely ignore it is leaving money on the table. You know, why not throw $50 into Dogecoin? Right? And if it if it dies and goes away, that's fine. It's basically gambling. But if you make two hundred percent on that, great. You know yeah. why not ride the wave? Uh, I was like, that's a really good point. Like you know, it 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 it's not a terrible idea to dip your toe in the water, you know, <laughs> and just play around with this thing and see what happens, right? Right. Well, there has now gone from one to three bitcoin machines in my neighborhood mm -hmm. where you can put in cash and you know you get <clears throat> you get the whatever percentage of the bitcoin mm -hmm. depending on how much cash you put in yep and <clears throat> you know so you can do that um i guess but i would love to see the guy who actually has the value of like an ethereum or a bitcoin just stand in front of the machine another hundred <laughs> another hundred and not get mugged right yeah. <laughs> did we talk about the guy who threw away a hard drive that contained like a thousand Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the $130 million worth yeah. of a uh, <laughs> yeah. hard drive. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. <clears throat> what if somebody finds that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let us move on to more understandable news. <laughs> uh, last week brought us the Ghibli Park's official opening date, and this week brings the opening of the park's official website. Um, it revealed an official visual of the Ghibli's Grand Warehouse area as seen above, but I'm betting people want to see it in all of its glory. Last week, uh, the park is built within an existing park and forest and contains no big attractions or rides. Rather, guests are encouraged to, quote, take a stroll. Feel the wind and discover the wonders. Play with Totoro. Exactly. You, you know what ask, it is? You know what's going to be? Ask for directions to the cafe. <laughs> you, you know what it is? You know what it is? It's going to be like the old Disney thing that I don't think exists anymore. All the animators are going to be in there, and it's just going to be us walking through, just like, you know, looking down oh, the glass. It, looking uh, at the, uh, behind the, the art. And behind the it. art, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and like you know, looking at the animators and going, knocking on the window, going, "Hey, hey, draw a turn row, draw a turn row." Yeah, exactly. just watching it, just good like that. <sighs> so, if this were America, they would have people dressed up as Hayao Miyazaki yep. walking around the park. And I'm like, yep. "Thank you for not doing that." I'm just gonna say, <laughs> no. Is that Takahata over <laughs> behind <laughs> that <laughs> box? I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> is he real or is he an actor? I don't know. <laughs> animatronic, you know, animators. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> animatronic, you know, I was like giving out sweet to the kids. There you go. Just insert this paper in the automatronic uh, uh, <clears throat> Miyazaki and he'll draw you a picture. 
after 10 years. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, how long do we have to wait? I'll just keep waiting. He's, his ideas are coming. <laughs> I'm just imagining, you know, stick the coin into the Hayao Miyazaki thing. <clears throat> Goro Miyazaki can't make movies. Goro Miyazaki can't make movies. It's like, oh, gee, get a rest. <laughs> also this week, news we wanted to touch on. Um, a new original anime is coming in April from Wit Studio called Onipan. The story of love, friendship, and underpants. That's what they say. <laughs> Uh, features an original story concept from the director and head writer of The Ancient Magus' Bride. Oh, good cheese, really? <laughs> it takes place in a world where Oni demons and humans coexist, follows three Oni girls in a Tokyo middle school as they try to improve the image of Oni using a key powerful item, Oni underpants. Of course. Or Oni Pon. Um, sounds like a Chubra drama. for Oni. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yes. Uh, it's Chubra for Oni. Which, uh, uh, um, well, you know well, we're going to end up watching it when it comes yeah. when it comes to yeah, the exactly. new season. Yeah, yeah. Having to watch the first episode of it, so mm -hmm. All for it. well, that's going to be a fun merch store. <laughs> <laughs> Buy your middle schooler under. <laughs> yeah, uh, now. Uh, <laughs> um, Oni Pond, anyone? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, we'll come across another guy at one of these conventions going, yeah, I'm getting that uh, body pillow for my daughter. Well, you see, the thing is, Oni <laughs> age at a very different rate. So yeah, we, if you're middle school, you're actually like 30. So it's all okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's, all it's, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> um, Wonder Brothers and practices? Hi, I need to have a, a word with you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Warner Brothers Japan announced this week that Kazushi Hagiwara's heavy metal and D&D &D inspired, um, I'm going to have to say it, bastard fantasy action manga, because um, it is literally about a, a person who is, it's, it's bloodlines. Um, yeah. Getting a new anime that will premiere worldwide on Netflix sometime this year. Hmm. The manga serialized irregularly since 1988 and is one of Shueisha's best-selling manga series of all time, despite having not released a new chapter since 2010. Wow. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, those of you familiar with, with uh, the, the original um, uh, the anime adaptation will know it's also very bloody. Uh, just blood everywhere. Um, he heavy uh, metal. Like, he heavy metal as in, like, the, the anime film? Or heavy metal as in, like, heavy metal the music? Um, as in, like, a lot of heavy metal references, as I recall. Like, characters named okay. after... Okay that and they okay. get your songs and references to all that kind of stuff i'm sir metallica <laughs> you guys oh cool it. how yeah. you doing um meet my friend rat <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> i have no idea what that reference is um terrible 80s hair man gotcha um, round dead round. moving on I'm sorry I... <laughs> yeah shin a animation of Doraemon and Crayon Shinchan fame, um, and illustrator Great. Kanahe have announced a new original TV anime titled Chimimo to premiere in July. It's a heartwarming comedy following the titular Chimimo, who, despite his adorable appearance, is actually a messenger of hell and a shape shifting demon. Um, <laughs> of course. Of course. Um, he and 11 others were sent to turn the uh, human world into hell, but he ends up becoming a freeloader to a human family instead. Um, so, huh. yeah. Uh, it's kind of the devil's <laughs> well, You know, that could be a media. different kind of hell. Know. True. Could, True. Be, could be a different kind of hell. <laughs> um, Bandai Namco and Sunrise have jointly announced a new franchise, High Drivers. I want you to guess what kind of franchise this is. It's about people driving? Yes! <laughs> um, it'll feature input from multiple Japanese automotive brands. Honda, Subaru, Toyota, and Nissan are all working on this. Um, in collaboration with production companies to develop the franchise through mixed media, including dedicated social media channels, um, emphasizing viewer participation like YouTube and Twitter. More info at Anime Japan Expo in March. Hmm. Could be okay. interesting. Um, I, I'm betting the the cars will be accurate, if nothing else. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, Netflix confirmed on Tuesday the Hollywood live-action adaptation of One Piece is officially in production. I can think of no better anime for live-action. Uh, the Netflix geeked Twitter account posted a couple photos of the cast hanging out and photos of on-set chairs and that kind of stuff. 
Um, my anime list will be hoping will be hosting its Mal Expo Light online event from February 17th to 25th, and it revealed this week that a panel-style talk event will be held on the 25th with Studios Production IG and Wit Studio. Um, it'll stream on YouTube starting at 5 Pacific Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, and it'll feature an anime production talk session with the chief animation director and executive producer of uh, Legend of the Galactic Heroes, Dainui Dis, um, as well as a Q&A mm-hmm. session with the president of Wit Studio, George Wada, celebrating the studio's 10th anniversary. So mm. that's pretty exciting. Um, that's Wits, interesting. Absolutely. Um, Wit Studio was sort of a spin-off of production IG, for what it's worth. Um, it animated the, the first three seasons of Attack on Titan, um, mm. which is kind of its, its real big um, uh, thing, and then it moved on to animate things like Ancient Majesty's Bride, After the Raid, Vinland Saga, um, Ranking of Kings, and of course, the upcoming Onipod. <laughs> That's going to be what it's known for the rest of exactly. the time. Yes. <laughs> Every, all the other franchises will burn. Watch, <laughs> watch Odie Pond become like Dragon Ball. Watch that become like just oh, the, oh, you know, just God. everyone watch it. It becomes like the keystone of anime. <laughs> So Kids all go into this? school with backpacks with Oni Pond on them. Be like, <laughs> oh, so oh how did you get into anime? Uh, how did you get into anime? Oh, I watched a screen show Oni Pond. Oh, God. <laughs> I've got um, all the underwear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm wearing it right your, now. Your, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shimonetta. It's going to be people exactly, wearing, yeah, yeah. wearing it like a mask. <laughs> You're like, oh, God, no. <laughs> Um, oh. <laughs> Why is this happening? Clearing out the brain. <laughs> clearing out the brain. Um, because the official Twitter account of Eurocamp, or Laid Back Camp, um, announced the anime's first smartphone game this week. Um, be both iOS and Android, and more details in March. I'm curious what what uh, form that'll take. Um, Where do you put your tent? <laughs> Where do you put your tent? Right. Nope. Yeah. Ah. right. Um, I will say their VR games are fantastic. Um, the Kroku's basketball anime franchise has a 10th anniversary celebration, running from April 2022 through March of 2023. Yeah. Um, it included a new song with an accompanying music video with new anime footage, a key art exhibition and 10th anniversary party display in Tokyo and Osaka, and a new official store in Ikebukuro open for the year. Um, also, special prizes at his arcade and music venues across Japan. Mm. Really pushing that. Um, finally, if you're look, looking to read some manga, Shueisha's got you covered. In celebration of the third anniversary of its Manga Plus app, get this. Users will now be able to read all the English chapters of all its simul release manga series for free for a full year starting last weekend. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. And who's this again? This is Shueisha, their Manga Plus app. <laughs> That's a go. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, typically, only the first three and latest three chapters of any given manga are available for free on the app. But for the next year, we'll be able to read each chapter in any currently serialized series once for free. Mm. Oh, that's the, totally worth it. It is a first read free campaign, only available inside the app, of course, and includes One Piece, My Hero Academia, Jujutsu Kaisen, and many more. So if you're curious about how the manga runs on some of those, this would be your chance. Mm, no joke. Yeah, very interesting. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah that's and my awesome. phone will shut down every third from <laughs> viruses or whatever yeah it's time to upgrade your smartphone i guess gosh time to get an yeah. ipad tablet thing yeah, so I can yeah really read yeah. it mm-hmm. larger mm-hmm. format that's a great point yeah totally. versus my phone where it's like mm, get yeah. the magnifying glass <laughs> yeah. out oh wow, that's what that says zoom in on each panel yeah yeah um, that's an interesting question i wonder if modern manga are increasingly designed to be what to be read on smartphones. Like if you're Jujutsu Kaisen, that's got to be a consideration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you are gonna have to. You're gonna yeah. have to. Take, you're absolutely right. You're gonna uh-huh. have to take that into account. Yeah, from now on. Yeah, wow. yeah, and not just this. To be clear, like just in general, right? right. Yeah. So much smartphone use is is, is there. That's got to be a <clears> thing. Where it's like, yeah, I mean. Hmm. 
Um, yeah, I'll take three point six stars on the iPad app for free. I'll 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 do that. Yeah, that's yeah, it. absolutely. Um, that's all the news for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week. <laughs>